Hello and welcome to the channel. In this video, I am quite excited to introduce you to this Llama 3 Grok 8 billion tool use model. I know that we have covered Llama 3 model a lot on the channel. I think I already have done more than 50 videos just on Llama 3 from different angles. We have checked its architecture, we have done its local installation of base model, instruction tuned model like more than 40 plus variants of it we have done fine tuning on custom data and then we have also seen a lot of other tools which are based on llama 3 so don't worry this video is a bit unique because this model which is released by grok does two things very very nicely first this model is focused solely on function calling or tool use secondly this model is very very permissible and open source so if your requirement is to use a model just for function calling i believe this is one of the best model because it is highly geared towards function calling and tool use when we say function calling or tool use in a very simple word what we mean is that we are going to generate a function call from the model and then you can use that function call with any of your APIs. For example, you have your legacy applications or any API based application, serverless applications running and you want to integrate or you want to call those applications with the help of AI. Now, these days what happens is that if you have your one application, if someone wants to use that application through function call, uh, that someone needs to know what is the name of your application plus what parameters and what data types that application or function needs. Now a common user doesn't need to know what sort of application programming interface your application has. All they need to do is to just issue a natural language text question or prompt and that application should be triggered. So that gap is bridged by this function calling support or characteristic of large language models. A user asks a query in very simple natural language. Then the LLM with function calling support converts that query into a proper function call. A function call is simply a function signature. Function signature is function name plus the parameter and the data types a function accepts. That is all a model does. Model doesn't actually call your application. It only generates a function call out of natural language text. And that's a very important distinction you need to uh, clear up. Then it is up to you to call that function. So in this video, we are going to install this model locally. We are going to do a function call with it. And then we will also see how to actually do a function call after generating the function call from the model. This is also called as tool use because function calling is a bit misleading. It, say, it appears that when we say function call, the model is also going to call the function. It doesn't happen like that. Model on, only generates the function call. That is why they say that, okay, let's call it tool use. Now, before I show you the installation and all this stuff, let me also give a huge shout out to our good friends at Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you are looking to rent a GPU on affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video description, so do check them out. Coming back to this Grok 8 billion, this is an 8 billion parameter version of Llama 3 Grok tool use model and it is specially designed for advanced tool use and function calling task. It is causal language model fine tuned for tool use. It has optimized transformer and the training approach is quite interesting as it has been done through full fine tuning or FFT and direct preference optimization on Llama 3 8 billion base model. So it has also scored more than 89% overall on Berkeley function calling leaderboard and it comes in two flavors. This is 8 billion, even more superior performance one is 70 billion one. But of course, I have just one GPU of a 48 GB VRAM, NVIDIA RTX 6000. So I'm just going to go with 8 billion. And this is my Ubuntu system, where as I said earlier, I'm running this NVIDIA card. Now, let me clear the screen 
I already have Conda installed, so I'm just going to activate my environment. If you don't know what Conda is, please search my uh, channel. I have done like heaps of videos. So I have just stepped into a virtual environment to keep everything separate and simple. Next step, let's quickly install some of the prerequisites which include um, Torch, Transformer, Sentence Speed and all that stuff. Towards the end, you see I'm also giving it Tevely Python. Let me run it and then explain what Tevely Python is. This is Tevely. Tevely allows you to connect your LLM to web or in other words, if you want to do online real-time web search, then you can use Tevely. So for that, you will need to sign up on their website and you get an API key, which is free for some credits. And then if you want to have an extensive use, you can pay and then get it. I already have my API key. So with the free credit, of course, they are quite generous in terms of free credit. So you can go and grab it out. So let's wait for all of the prerequisites to finish. So I'm just going to set my API key here like Tavily and API underscore key. So this is how I'm going to set it. So let me set it and then clear the screen and then we are going to proceed further. I have set my key and now I'm just launching the Jupyter Notebook in my local browser so that we would be able to run it properly in the browser it will be easier to look at so let's, let me get the new notebook and there you go so let me first import everything we have installed such as transformer and tevely client i'm setting the api key grabbing from the environment then i am just specifying this llama 3 croc 8 billion tool use and then this is a usual stuff where i am getting the model downloading it and then putting it on my gpu as you can see with device type auto so it shouldn't take too long and the size of model is around 16 gig so make sure that you have that much space so you see the model is downloaded and we are good to proceed now another thing i want to show you is this let me actually grab it this is so this is a special prompt template they have shared it on your hugging face page i will drop the link to it in videos description and by the way all the commands i'm using i'll put it in my blog and i'll put the link in video description so that you can run around okay so you see this is a prompt where we are actually telling the uh, model that you are a function calling a model don't make any assumption and then call the function and return it is proper xml tags and then all that stuff so make sure that if you want an optimal performance you give this prompt and then these are the tools or functions we are defining for the purpose of this i'm just defining one but you can have as many tools as you like then this one i'm we are just using current weather and these are its parameter so this is where we are defining the function signature and then towards the end of it we are just giving it this prompt that what is the weather like in sydney in celsius of course you can change it this is just an example here okay now you can uh, grab the response here let me actually print it and then i'll show you what is happening so this is just a prompt right so i'm just going to play it it is done now this is where the actual magic is happening first i'm just passing this prompt to the model model is going to generate some output and if you remember the prompt is simply this the whole text here and the crux is this one so I'm asking it, what is the weather like in Sydney in Celsius? And then model itself converts this into this function call, this uh, get current weather. It automatically gets a location. It automatically gets the format. So you see here, format is Celsius, location is Sydney. And you can just define everything or anything here as per your own application. Now, coming back here, so I'm just passing this to model, model comes back with the response, generates the text and then because what model generates it's quite long. So um, I'm just massaging here, maybe I will also show you why not, because we are just learning here. So I will show you the raw output and then I'm massaging this as to get the actual weather. So this will depend upon your application, how you want to massage it and get the just the thing you want. So I'm just going to maybe also print here some 
the black thing so that it will just differentiate it okay so let me now print it so it is running let's wait for it and i'll show you what is there you go you see so this is the whole raw output which i have published and this is what we were interested in that current get current weather location city nsw celsius now you see instead of giving you the temperature in sydney or uh, weather in sydney it has just give, given you the function call so it has converted user's natural language prompt as per your function definition in your prompt into a function call now if you want to use your own application for example this is our tavali application where we are sending this tool call so this is all stored in tool call variable we are extracting location format and then we are generating a query that current weather in city in celsius we are sending it to uh, tavali and then getting the response back so let me run it and this is where we are making actual function call there you go so it has gone and it has just given me all the stuff about sydney new south wales time and date current weather past weather and all that stuff so just imagine you can just alter the, that function that prompt and this how you are calling your application easily as per your own application by using this model so the role of model is just to convert natural language text into a function call and this model is very much specialized in that one i hope that this is useful i know i have been repeating this a bit but this is a very important distinction to make so that we understand what is happening so this is what i was meaning that you know all the code which i have done to this above code sorry let me go up this one all this this is all just to make sure that i don't you know i just extract this thing from here and you might not have to do it you, your application might just print some uh, json value you could just easily extract and that is why json is so good anyway so but all in all i hope that this makes sense let me know what do you think about this video i hope that this was useful if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you are already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching